Here especially, I get to be involved with the entire process of creating the show from the early design meetings all the way through the final performance. And I love getting to see the show from its early stages and see as it grows and how the actors grow with it. You're the point person for the show. You're the one that everybody will go to from each of the departments, whether it's scenery or props or costumes, you're the one that they go to. And it's especially harder when you're student stage managing because you also have to take classes on top of it and stay on top of those and stay on top of the show. The whole escapism of it and being able to just completely embody somebody else and tell somebody else's story in a really truthful, realistic way within their circumstances. Um, and yeah, it's just it's super fun being able to be somebody else and whisk away into that world for however long of time we're credited. It's an amazing role, it kind of has it all. It's a great hysterical character, he's, he's kind of crazy, he does a little bit of singing and dancing here and then, which is always fun. And yeah, it's just it's a good old time. I knew early on in my life that I wasn't going to be the girl that sits behind a desk or sits in a cubicle all day long. I get really tired of a routine, so being an actress allows you to work on a bunch of different projects and explore all kinds of different aspects about yourself and aspects about other people. So it's constantly changing and it's constantly challenging, so you're always excited to get to work and make art. There's a lot of work that we do here in classes, um, you know, we do paperwork, we answer questions, who are you, and go really in depth to these characters, but at the end of the day, we still bring a sense of ourselves to them as well. It can be really hard sometimes just because there are so many people out there in this field and it is very competitive, and sometimes you kind of are like, what do they want, what do the casting directors want to see, you know, what can I do to change? But at the end of the day, they're going to cast who they're going to cast. And as long as you stay true to yourself and stick to what your strengths are, you'll be successful. There's nothing like live theater. Live theater is happening in the moment. It's happening in the now. You're sitting in your bed, binge watching Netflix. You're not really sharing anything with those characters besides watching them and hearing their story. But for live theater, you're in the room where it happens. So you are witnessing that. All of those people, their hard work, the hours and the weeks and the months that they put into this production, you're able to share that with them. And getting that live feedback from an audience, there's nothing like knowing whether you're hitting or missing it. Anything can happen on stage. Like, it, in my, I've never experienced the same show twice when I'm working on something. Like, a little detail can change the entire show one night. Oh, so much can happen, like, <laughs> in like the best and worst way. Being able to feed off of a live audience is amazing. It's unlike anything else. Just that feeling of the live audience really just getting sucked into that world with you. There's just like a thrill about live theater. I can't explain it. It's like when you're sitting there and the orchestra starts playing and you're on the edge of your seat, I always get chills. And just knowing these people work their butts off. I mean, eight shows a week, singing, dancing, and acting all at the same time. It's so much hard work and it's just so rewarding. And to get to watch it up on stage is truly incredible.